Bonjour, et bienvenue au Park Betchwa, the Disneyland and me. We're today we're doing the past attraction Dog Butterfly Elephant. Opened April the 12th, 1992. Located in Fantasyland. Takes the skies with everybody's favourite flying elephant for a breathtaking view of the magic blur. You're right, you're, 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 you're feeling like you're going to be sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm already feeling a bit elsewhere. This is going to make me feel a bit more. <laughs> well, as we all know, you do suffer from the phobia of, of, of heights. Yep. Absolute, 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 absolute. You do, yep. You do, you do suffer from the fear of heights. And just, yeah, so when I look at attractions like this, whether it's Dumbo or it's Flying Cars at Akbar, I just think, nope! <coughs> Which is a bit of a shame. Because. Whose side are you on? Right, no, 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 I'm not in that. I'm not in that. I'm just saying. It's a bit of a shame because they, cause they are two simple, nice, gentle rides. That could easily suit you. It has a problem is it, 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 you have to be up in the air. <sighs> and what is also really, really, really annoying wow. is in California there is an inside out version. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> so if we ever do get to go back to California, Disney. Um, we, we might need to take me to see a, hip, to see a hypnotherapist. <laughs> like Rocky had to on Shake It Up when she was about to go and fly to, to, to Japan. Do you remember that episode? Yeah, it was a, she, was, she, was a, she was a nasty bitch. Oh! It was a wicked old bitch. <laughs> And she met, took advantage of her being the trans. Yes, but that was for, 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 for plot purposes. I still don't care, she was a, she was a horrible witch. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, but yeah, so these kind of rides, I just literally, literally was, was just take work and go, Nope! Because <laughs> it's just like, uh, Nope! Uh, uh. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we can't spend an episode talking about them. So let's do that. So what do we make of the, the ride as a whole? Well, I really quite like how you can, you can literally get into your own Dumbo and just fly away. <laughs> and just be like, spread, spread your wings and just literally just fly away. All we're, miss all, all we're missing now is, is the corny old song of Come Fly With Me, that's fly, that's fly with. <laughs> That's the bit, a bit I know, so... <laughs> but if you go to this type of attraction, then really you've got the perfect candidate for, for your ride vehicle <laughs> of Dumbo. <laughs> so there you go, really. That's what I quite like about it, is how literally you, you've got the ideal... The ideal... Disney character to be chosen mm -hmm. to be used for this ride as your ride vehicle. You've got it spot on. Well, I think the same could also be said for flying carts of Agrabah in, in the Walt Disney Studios Park because obviously Magic Carpet, we know that Aladdin and Jasmine fly on it for the. Don't you dare sing the song! Don't you dare! Mm -hmm. Don't even think about humming the tune either, that's also not acceptable. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's oh, sake. Yeah, yeah, so. But really, why do we have a flying ride in both parks? It just doesn't make sense. It should be one or the other. Yeah, but you can't deny on both of them, they have used prior examples, ideal choices for their ride. It's not that they've thought, oh, I just think of something that will work and not run with it, but... Okay, yeah, so, but, so yeah, so, so, A-star for choosing 
what the film is the freedom from. But, uh, wait, I think it's pretty, it's pretty, and it's very exquisite how literally you have Dumbo there. It's pretty, it's absolutely really, really, really brilliant. I just think that's, so I just, it's, <laughs> It had to be, it had to be, it had to be, it had to be, it had to be <laughs> You can't do a, do a fly again if it's not a big ride out of that. <laughs> but I do think it's missing something. I'm just going to take the trivia. I just think it's missing something. And that is the, the soundtrack. Oh, you are the... I think that is missing from it. You need the soundtrack in there. <laughs> Uh, well, do you not, do you not, do you not, do you not think, do you think Marble House, you need to get to see all about fantasy land? No, I do not, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I, nope. <laughs> nope, I don't want to think, nope. <laughs> okay, but, it, but let's see how you just get to fly and, and just get to see, you know, a lot of the yeah, fantasy land itself. But that's what you're supposed to do back in Alice's Curious Labyrinth. Well, yeah, if, you, if you go up to the up to the castle, up to the Red Queen Castle, if you take that route, you're supposed to be able to get a good bird's eye view from fantasy land. Yeah, but it's actually, I think maybe does it one better. I don't think so! I mean, what, been spin around and being up in the air? <laughs> I think not. Well, tit for tat, tit for tat. But, but, uh, uh, no. No, you don't. Okay, but, no, but, this feels like a brilliant circus ride that would be perfect in any film. Oh my god. These last three shows mm, we have covered attractions that really are ideal for any theme park in the world. And more specifically, your typical seaside resorts in the UK. Because you would probably get an attraction similar to this in the UK. Mm -hmm. Just um, not theme to a wonderful Disney classic. Uh -huh. Just, yeah, so crap. I'm pleased to say that trend will, will, will be broken on the next show. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, um, but yes, but the circus is pretty, it's pretty. Why well, face pretty? But it's very how you literally, literally transport you into the world of Dumbo. You are literally transported and you get to buy your own flying elephant, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I've got your ears. Oh no, you're gonna try me all. Your... <laughs> Slap it in the air like that. It looks like you got one. It's also like you've got one looking at you, one looking over you. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't do it. You can't. You can. You can't. You just cannot do that. Don't even. Don't even, don't even try to humour him. You can't. You can't do. You cannot do that one bit. You just can't. No. Don't even. No. Just stop. But no. But um. But the details in this ride is quite quite nice. That looks. That looks quite amazing. Um. Obviously, it's in the perfect location. Mm -hmm. Being in fancy land, that works brilliantly. Um, but yes, it just but it's quite vibrant, quite warm. Mm -hmm. But the damn boats definitely have what do it anyway. Yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll notice how each ride bit 
Well, talking about himself is the same. The are we are the designs on his back? Yep. I think they are different colours. Can help, yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's quite nice that's quite a nice touch. Yeah, so here. It's quite it's got one pink, or yellow, green, blue, red, yeah. Try to make each dumbo look different. Uh -huh. Spy fight is the same design as the right bit of <laughs> But it's isolated free. But do you see how high they could go? Oh god, that's the most fun that's the most fun hell right now. I think it's impre I don't think that's impressive. But stuff it can go really, really high. How high do you think they go? So we look at the trivia and see, see, yeah, how I think they go. Because when you see the tracks in person, and obviously some of, these, some of these images on Google, you just think, oh my god, they got so high in the air, how high can they go? Well, let's go do some trivia, we'll see if we can find that out, shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Right. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Right. <laughs> sure you want to know how high? Yeah, well, okay. Um, so Dumbo, the flying elephant, allows you to fly between 1.5 and 7 meters above the ground. <laughs> that is too high. <laughs> so we're talking the range of toy. A toy soldier parachute drop, which of course, as we all know, goes way, way above, above there because obviously it's a great big massive drop you get. But you got on that right, but it's like, foodie. <laughs> that is too high. That that is. Is this attraction supposed is supposed to be supposed to be kitty friendly? Your know, kids go on that ride. We'll shoot them up into the, into the space. I'm sure a lot of parents probably think would like to do that, but literally, they're getting shot into space! Oh my god, that is... Too high, Dumbo! That is unnaturally high for a man! That's, 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 that is going, that is going too, that's too far, that is going too far. Oh dear. Uh, oh god. Right, okay. Um Okay. So the Dumbo elephants which you're loving uh -huh. you're loving the Dumbo elephants. They um so the Dumbo elephants that you ride, they are actually the second set built for Paris. Uh, yep. The first were diverted to Disneyland in California at the last minute. <laughs> In 1990, <laughs> um, a series of technical faults and mechanical failures had closed the California <laughs> attraction almost indefinitely, but the Imagineers eyed a solution, and that was to send a new 60 elephant model to California and order another for what was at the time Euro Disneyland. Just 18 months before the scheduled opening. <laughs> so, um, how do you get diverted to that? Says our luggage that got diverted to Chile one time. <laughs> now that's a diversion you still ponder how the hell. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Right. Though often cited as one of the opening day attractions um, at Disneyland in California, which of course is 17th of July 1955, Dumbo the Flying Elephant, in fact, did not open to guests until August that year. Apparently, the vehicles were just too heavy to, to, fl to fly. Oh, come on! 
Really? Really? Oh, no, no, no. Really? Really? Is that what we're going with? No, 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 no. Okay. So, for the original 1955 Disneyland version, the ears of each Dumbo, which you tried to demonstrate earlier, but failed miserably. I will not break for I think the Sabotage was. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, yeah, but that original version did for this line in, 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 um, the ears of each Dumbo were attached using hinges and were given special mecha mecha mechanisms to allow them to move up and down. So do you want to try that again for the viewers? So, oh, no, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's gone, nope. Ambitious, don't you think, for 1955? Very ambitious, but thankfully, though, the mechanism failed almost instantly and the ears remained stationary until the ride was rebuilt in 1983 without hinged ears. What would you make of that? Would you like to see a version of Dumbo the Fly Geppos where the ears could move? Oh, I think it would depend. Because given how high they can go up in the air, mm -hmm. uh -huh. they could very easily fall off and obviously help us. Yes, um, could test drive it. Yeah, because they could do test drive it work, yeah. I've got one more thing. So, original concepts had the ride based on the Pink Elephants on Parade sequence before Walt Disney threw out that idea. Of a ride based on an intoxicated hallucination. Oh, yep! Oh, yep! Oh, yep! The pet, the pennies dropped. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. Yep. The pennies dropped. Yeah, because for those of you who have seen Dumbo, you of course um, are aware in that scene. Um, Dumbo drinks something, which I think is supposed to be an alcoholic substance, and he has um, a hallucination of the Pink Earth on Parade scene. Why does that have to lead to a very lovely alcoholic song from Anime Magique? I do not know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, 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 um... So what would you make of that? Would you like it to have been Pink Elephants as a ride vehicle? Well, you could make a case, um, because obviously you could, each one could be made differently. Yep, because it's a different size, different type of elephant, but... No, 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 you're, no, you're happy with the Dumbos as a girl <laughs> Would anyone really kick a full service if it became hard to get on that scene? I mean, I imagine he'd go over it for, for, for 13 years. For, 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 yeah, for, first, for 13 years. <laughs> so, uh. I don't think that would have been a bit proper too. I don't think that would have made that. No, I don't think that would have been a problem with that, but, uh. Anyway, I don't think it would have a problem with that at all. I don't want to be a problem one bit. <laughs> okay, so. What would you like to add? Um, I just. I just want to keep praising the, the, the right pick. You just can't stop loving the right pick. <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, <laughs> um, 
And then they are studying. Yeah. The detail has gone in gone into that to give you Dumbo's likeness. That is quite stunning. Mm. Like that is simply gorgeous and stunning. But as we all know, it's not for me. <laughs> Just simply phobia of heights. And that's all it is. It's the same. It's the same as flying cars, Agrabah. Mm. Phobia of heights. That's all it is. Um. Yeah, but I do think that it's despite, despite that, despite my phobia holding me back from doing it, I think it is quite a lovely attraction to have, and definitely an attraction that would be for, for all the family. I'm not really, although despite the fact how high it goes up in the air, <laughs> that is cause, cause for concern. <laughs> Seven. Seven meters. Seven. How has the toy 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 solar power suit drop then? You're not gonna have a look. I'm gonna lock that up. How about? It's just. That is utter mad. That is utter mad. Well, we'll see, shall we? <laughs> I've got feet. I've got into the feet. Welcome back to me, just then. Uh, I've got. 24 meters twist sort of sort of pass it drop wow so that's nothing in compared to them but no there you go there you go so but really seven seven meters though that's too high especially if we're attached we got little kids though i'm sorry that that's just that is that's <laughs> that's too high that's too high in the air but 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 all in all it's really nice. Yeah, it's a nice. It's a nice attraction to be on. I think it really is gorgeous. But like I say, it just doesn't do it for me because obviously my phobia. Yeah, and that's never gonna. Yeah, for me, that's just never really gonna gonna change before I. It's just the way it is. Yeah, same with same with fly cars like a bar. Yeah, but can I just say it one more time before we go? Birdies, love the earth. You love the earthens. <laughs> Alright then, thank you so much for joining us today, show. If you loved it, do click the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, click the subscribe button. That will have subscribed never seen the moment when you can't come back to the main room. It's a virtual park up in bed. You can win birth or all that content. And my official YouTube is at Jordan. Until next time, all that's left for us is Merciful Guy.